Very good. Khalid, you finished all your breakfast. So, tell me, what you and your ibu did in Myanmar? Ibu took me to the arcade every day. I had so much fun. What did you eat there? Many things. The nasi lemak was my favourite. So, you had fun with her? Ibu's very nice to me. She loves me a lot. That's nice. Young. Come in. Where's Shen? Last night didn't go well. So what brings you here? York's worried about you. You want to tell me what happened? <sighs> oh my god, I messed up. All I know is all of a sudden I was at the beach, right? And Ella was there. And it all spilled out how my sister had drowned and I couldn't do a damn thing to save her. So how did Ella take it? Ella felt really sorry for me and she made me feel better about myself. And I felt so close to her and I got carried away and I almost crossed the line with Ella. Oh my god. Does she know about this? Do you guys have rules about this? I didn't know what I was thinking. It was a stupid mistake. You know he's gonna find out sooner or later. And so will Yoke. Can you apologize to her for me? James, how many times do you want to read the PI's report? I feel terrible about this whole thing. Please, put it away. It's Ella's life. If she wants to be a sugar baby and meet strange men, I'm sorry, but what can you do about it? Well, I should have known that something like this would happen to her. What are you talking about? How could you have known? You don't have to feel responsible for her. <sighs> I kicked her out, Emily. I hope her family don't know about this. Like, I have to talk to her face to face. But she would just lie to you. Well, I'm not just gonna sit here and, and do nothing about it. And you spoke to Yang, not Shen. He was pretty traumatized by it. I don't believe this. We were so careful trying to make sure something like this doesn't happen. But why did Yang have to get involved? Something must have triggered it. Maybe something happened at the beach cleanup to remind him of what happened to his sister. He's spoken about her lots of times. But that never caused Yang to take over. Are you gonna reach out to him? I can't think about that. Why? Yang's in trouble. What if Ella starts talking? Who knows what's going through her mind right now? But how are you gonna stop her? I wouldn't even know where to start. And this whole situation has gotten so complicated. I wish Shen was here. He would know what to do. Uh, are you okay, sir? Can you stop breathing so heavily? You're making me nervous. I'll get into trouble, sir. Why do you keep leaving the hospital? Just have a towel. You'll feel better. Thank you for saying nice things about my shop. I already sold out three batches mm. of tau hui. Sold out? Again? Good morning, Uncle Derek. I'm oh, sorry, it's my fault. I talked about boss lady on social media and now look what's done for business. <laughs> Let me go and check, see if the new batch of Tahui is ready. Uncle Derek, you remember Ananya? Of course, she was my executive assistant. Yeah. Too bad we can't stay in chat and reminisce about the good old days, right? Ananya, pay the bill. Have a good day, Uncle Derek. I will as soon as you leave. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's not you, I'm upset, right? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. I gave my friend money to buy a computer game one week ago. That friend that day? No. 
online friend. But now, I can't even contact him online. I think you got cheated. You have to be more careful, OK? Nowadays, a lot of people are doing all these kind of things. Sorry, Ma. Never mind. It's just only a computer game. Be careful next time, OK? Why didn't you bring Khalid along? Well, I let him go on a holiday with his biological mother. And they got along very well. And then Shira? Yes. Khalid didn't give her any trouble. With me, is the exact opposite. Do you think is it because I'm not his real mother? I'm not sure you should compare yourself with Shira. I've been doing a lot of reading up about how to manage difficult children. And it got me thinking, maybe over time, Shira can give Khalid a sense of stability and security, which I can't. How long did they spend together? Four or five days? I know what you're saying. Khalid was on holiday. He had no homework. You could be jumping the gun here. But I could be right about this. They seem to have a bond between them that I don't have with him. Everywhere I go, you're there. What is up with you? I need to know about you and Shen. OK, I am seeing him. But you can't hold it against me. He and Yoke, that whole thing is a sham. Their marriage is arranged. I knew there was something wrong about him and Yoke. The whole engagement thing. And he was giving me grief about spending time with Yoke when he was cheating on her with you. You can't. Can't what? You can't use this against him. Who's going to stop me? And how do you know Yoke will believe you? And even if she does, what makes you think she'll dump him for you? Can we talk, please? I told you, not here. You won't pick up my calls or answer my texts. Please hear me out. I'm not in love with Kat Rose. It was just a stupid crush. I didn't mean to hurt you, Ilya. I love you. Let's bring forward the wedding. I want to be married to you. I want to be your husband. Do you want to give up what we have? Sayang. I want you to keep your distance from Kat Rose. I will. I promise. I'm going to do one more thing for you. Louis, it's Zarif. I should never have said those things to you. It was wrong of me. No problem. It's none of my business if you want to be friends with Rosnani, or lovers, or whatever. In fact, you have my blessings. Appreciate it. That's very generous. Thanks. How can you concentrate on work? We have to do something about Ella. I have a long email to write and I've only gotten as far as dear doctors. Have a seat. Look, whatever happened between Ella and Yang yesterday, there's no telling what Ella will do. If she finds out, what if she tells everyone about your DID? Your whole life will be ruined. I'm sorry about yesterday. I wish I could do something about Yang. I don't know how to control him. If he had gone any further, I... I don't care that it happened. It wasn't you with Ella. But I can't help but think, what if Ella hadn't backed off? I have to talk to Ella. This can't go on any longer. What about Yang? He's gone back into hiding, hasn't he? He can't handle this. If Yang isn't man enough to tell Ella the truth, then... I will.
Hey. Hey, you know you look out of sorts with Derek just now. Was I? Have you seen him since his release from prison? No. How come? No reason to. Any more questions? No, well, I just find it strange, you know. Derek was your mentor and all that. The man made you who you are. And I will forever be grateful. Ananya, Derek spent five years in prison. Are you wondering how he's doing? I just thought you might be concerned or at least just the slightest bit curious. What do you want from me? Do you want me to have an outpouring of grief and emotion? Would you like me to cry on your shoulder? Let's go see Derek. I'm busy. Oh. I'm busy yourself. Let's go. You're shadowing me, remember? Come on. Why do you want to see me? Can we talk inside? Oh, here, it's fine. I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Shen is seeing Ella behind your bank. Are you sure? I spoke to Ella. I asked her point blank. She didn't deny it. But I can understand if you're finding it hard to believe me. I just thought you should know. I hate seeing you get hurt. Matthew. You knew about them. Yeah, let's stop inside my office. How long have you known? I don't get it. You're so calm about it. Shen is going to become your husband, don't you care? What if he doesn't stop seeing Ella? I don't know. Yo, don't you see what you're getting yourself into? What the hell happened to you? And is it any of your business? Shen and I are getting married because we want to. As simple as that. Hey, this is getting very old. Stop telling me how to run my life. Shen is cheating on you, yo. That doesn't bother you. Like I said, not your business. Oh, and if you think coming to me with this news flash is going to make me leave him for you, you are way off mark. Excuse me, I have work to do. Shira, um, would you like to spend time with Khalid? For a few days? Did Adina set you up to this? No, she doesn't know I'm here. Okay. Sometime soon? Um, sure. Can you tell me why you want to do this? Khalid likes being with you. He told me how much he enjoyed himself in Yama. So you want to give him a sleepover? You're clearly not comfortable about it. I'm doing this for Khalid. I want the best for him. And if he wants to spend more time with you, I'm okay with it. You're thinking it's not what it looks it's like. okay it's okay calm down i'm not doing anything wrong ella listen i hired a pi he's got everything on you i've got your online account why are you doing this don't give me that i'm not breaking any laws it's clearly stated that all my client gets from me is my time let me help you okay i don't like seeing you doing this to yourself i i should i should have never turned my back on you james why are you here to help me, also you can feel better about yourself. But you can't be happy doing this. Hey, you kicked me out. You didn't skip a beat. Look, I am sorry. I really am. You know that still hurts. I haven't been close to anyone for a long time. I don't want to. 
I'm too scared to let my feelings go. Oh, okay, then let's find a way, but this is not the answer. James, I have someone special now, and he makes me forget everything you and those stupid Shelleys did to me. I don't need you to rescue me. No, I really enjoy your interview with the Cinco Prattler. It was, um, absorbing. Oh, Nanya, make sure Uncle Derek gets a copy of next month's ESQ Asia. Will do. You know, ESQ Asia is doing a profile on me. They're going to put me on the front cover. I guess I can retire after that. You promise? So, Ananya, what made you go back? I got an offer from Charles that was too good to turn down. So Charles is the reason. That's the thing that baffles me. You've always been so independent. When you're done running his errands, how do you find the time to do your own job? I'm not his slave. I had a great life back in Perth, great but I was- life like... as a homemaker in Perth. Who do you think you're fooling? Wait, hold on. Ananya was and still is a great mother. She brought up three kids under tough circumstances. That's one heck of a chief in my book. It's insulting of you to demean it. Uncle Derek. I think it's good for Khalid to spend more time with Shira. Have you talked to her about it? She's okay for him to stay with her for a few days. Are you sure you want to do this? Shira is good. At least Khalid wouldn't be as restless and moody as he is with us. Ibu, what do you think? She's not wrong. His behaviour has improved. Before you know it, Khalid will want to spend more and more time with Shira. But it's good for his well-being. Why do you talk to me first? Please understand, I'm doing this for Khalid, not for us. Then we have to be prepared for the worst. I'm going back to work. See you tomorrow. You know, a thank you wouldn't be out of order. I didn't want to see Derek, and you knew that, yet you still forced me to tag along just so that you could stick it to him. Do you really expect a thank you for that? That's not true. Who are you kidding, Charles? Nothing is ever simple with you. This was premeditated, wasn't it? Nanya, I meant every word I said. You've been a wonderful mother to Candace's children, and Derek should respect that. There was nothing premeditated about that. Good night, Charles. It is very upsetting. Khaled is going to stay over at Shira's place again. When did this happen? Does it matter? The plan is supposed to keep them apart. Ibu, calm down. It's just a sleepover, right? It's fun for them now, but like any relationship, reality will take over eventually. I don't care about eventually. Ibu, we need to buy our time. Shira is a single mother. She has no idea how hard it is to take care of a child of her own. Khalid likes being with her. And that's all I can think about right now. There's going to be more of these sleepovers. We can't stop them from happening. But our plan will work in the long run. Trust me. I hope you are right. Khalid, if you want, you can stay over at your Ibu's place. Really? Yes. Uh, for a few days, okay? I have so much fun with her. Hey. Ella, I want to talk to you about yesterday. I crossed the line and I shouldn't have. If you want to end it, I understand. I'm sorry I freaked out yesterday. I didn't mean to run away like that. It's just, I get cold feet whenever I get close to anyone. You mean you haven't? No, I haven't. Shen, I am as scared as you are. I have a ton of hang-ups that I'm still trying to come to terms with. Like you're trying with your sister's death. So you understand? 
I'm in the same shoes too. Yeah. Young. It's tough for both of us. But we can help each other. Let's try. There's something about me you need to know. I have a disorder and it's called DID. DID? Dissociative Identity Disorder. I'm made up of different personalities. It's like a band playing in my head. There's a singer, there's a drummer, a guitarist, and I'm all of them and I'm none of them. You're not making any sense. Sometimes one personality can dominate and the other one fades into the background. And that's happening now. I'm not Shen. I'm Yang. What? I'm not Shen. Please believe me. You're looking grumpily at me, I might add. <laughs> you know, it's not nice to whisper in front of others. That's enough, Maxine. Yes, Grandma. <laughs> you can make up for it by sharing with Grandpa. I don't want to. Why? <laughs> That's between us girls, isn't it? <laughs> Celia would never have treated me like this. Oh, the old Celia wouldn't have. But where's Celia now? Uh -huh.